Graham, who was known for being the spiritual advisor to presidents, from Harry S. Truman all the way to George W. Bush, passed away last week at the age of 99. In an eye-opening but not surprising news bit, we have now learned that former President Barack Hussein Obama will not be attending the funeral or memorial service for the legendary Christian minister Billy Graham. At least three of the presidents alive today, and our current president, Donald Trump, will be at the North Carolina funeral in order to pay their respects and I think it's safe to say there would be even more of it WASNT for health issues some of our past presidents are having because of their advanced ages. But Barry Sotero, who is young and healthy can't take a day off from his busy schedule of trying to overthrow President Trump and get elected to the UN in order to attend this wonderful month's funeral who has been a long-standing staple in American history, a true legend in his own time. Graham's ministry spanned more than six decades, and his evangelical crusades, as he called them for most of his career, touched every corner of the world. He proclaimed his message of salvation through repentance and commitment to Jesus in the poorest of third world nations and in the richest corners of this world. He was an accomplished showman with a down-to-earth theology. He preached with a burning sincerity, although he generally avoided the exaggerated theatrics of the stereotypical Bible revivalists of an earlier era. He was indeed a legend and he will be missed by millions around the world. But of course, Obama will never miss an opportunity to disrespect a man loved by so many in Christianity. Again, what can we expect from a man whose name is Barack Hussein Obama? Here are some moving videos of Billy Graham lying in state at the United States Capitol Rotunda. Thank God we have a president who honored this great man, not one who snubs him. Graham Funeral Schedule, the latest on those paying respects to the Rev. Billy Graham in Charlotte All Times Local, 4.30 p.m. Former President Barack Obama is not planning to attend memorial services for the late evangelist Rev. Billy Graham this week. Obama's office disclosed the former president's plans Monday. Former President George W. Bush is paying his respects to Graham, known as the pastor to presidents, Monday afternoon at his library in North Carolina. Former President Bill Clinton will visit Tuesday to honor Graham's memory. President Donald Trump is expected to attend Graham's funeral Friday in North Carolina after the preacher lies in honor at the U.S. Capitol this week. Obama tweeted last week after Graham's death that he was a humble servant who prayed for so many and who gave hope to generations, 3.55 p.m. Former President George W. Bush has arrived at the Rev. Billy Graham's library in North Carolina to pay respects to the late evangelist. Bush arrived Monday afternoon at the Charlotte site where thousands of others from all walks of life have filed slowly past Graham's casket. Bush has said he chose Monday to pay his respects because of a scheduling conflict with Graham's funeral in Charlotte on Friday. Public viewing will continue Monday and Tuesday at Graham's Charlotte Library on the campus of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. His body will then be taken to the U.S. Capitol, where Wednesday and Thursday he will be the first private citizen to lie in honor there since civil rights hero Rosa Parks in 2005. 2.25 p.m. Former President Bill Clinton is expected to pay respects to the late evangelist Billy Graham in North Carolina. Angel Arania, a spokeswoman for Clinton, said he plans to visit Charlotte on Tuesday. Thousands have been filing through Graham's restored boyhood home in North Carolina to view his casket Monday. His body will lie in repose Monday and Tuesday at his boyhood home in Charlotte on the grounds of his library. It will lie in honor Wednesday and Thursday at the U.S. Capitol before his funeral Friday, 12.05 p.m. The grandson of the Rev. Billy Graham is shaking the hand of every person who walks past his grandfather's casket. Roy Graham stood in the doorway of the parlor where Billy Graham's closed casket was placed Monday on a black draped pedestal. Graham's body will lie in repose Monday and Tuesday at his boyhood home in Charlotte on the grounds of his library. Roy Graham says he wanted to thank people on behalf of his grandfather's family. And he says he was especially moved by the dozens of people who paused and told him the exact moment and place Billy Graham came into their lives through his hundreds of crusades around the world. Graham's body will lie in honor Wednesday and Thursday at the U.S. Capitol before his funeral Friday, 9 a.m. Hundreds of people have begun paying respect to the late Rev. Billy Graham at his restored boyhood home in North Carolina. Graham's body, in a casket made by prison inmates, was in the parlor of the home Monday and will be there Tuesday. People of all ages and races arrived as light rain fell at Graham's library when the gates opened. Cecily Turner of Queens, New York, flew to Charlotte on Sunday to make sure she thanked the man she said saved her mother's soul. The 72-year-old grandmother of four says Graham's 1957 crusade at New York's Madison Square Garden means her soul is saved, as well as the souls of her five children. Graham died February 21. 
His body will be at the U.S. Capitol Wednesday and Thursday before Friday's funeral in Charlotte, 12 a.m. A four-day period for the public to pay respects to the late Rev. Billy Graham is beginning at his boyhood home in North Carolina. Mourners will file past Graham's body starting at 8 a.m. Monday. The man called America's pastor is lying in repose in a closed casket at the home his father built in 1927 on their Charlotte dairy farm, which was long ago swallowed by urban sprawl. It was moved and restored by his library and is on the same campus as the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. Graham's body will spend two days at his library and then lie in honor at the U.S. Capitol Wednesday and Thursday. Graham's funeral is Friday in North Carolina with President Donald Trump and others expected. Follow us on Facebook. From the web powered by Zergnet Navy SEAL who killed Bin Laden tossed off plane the truth about the Obama sisters awkward Olympics wardrobe malfunctions you can't unsee Navy SEAL who killed Bin Laden gets thrown off plane women who drove Florida shooter to school speaks out the disappointing truth about Dr. Phil.